Alright, what is going on guys? Now, today we're going to be learning about multiplication and division in Java. So let's say that our employer is calculating our paycheck and depositing it to our bank account. We worked 40 hours last week uh, at a rate of $15.50 an hour. Java can calculate this use um, this with the multiplication operator. Now, in regular, uh, in real life, we usually use an X for the multiplication or we use a dot. But here, we actually use the asterisk uh, to multiply. So for example, double paycheck amount 40 times 15.50 and your check is 620. We want to see how many hours our total balance represents. We use the division operator. So for example, if you have a balance of 20,000 and you want to see how many hours you worked, you can just divide that by the hourly rate and that will give you the um, hours worked. So we can use the slash operator, uh, just basically division in real life. And division has different uh, results with the integers. Um, the slash operator does integer division, meaning that any remainder is lost. So for example, if you have uh, 10 divided by five, that would just return two because it cleans, uh, it divides very cleanly and it doesn't have a remainder. But if you have 10 divided by four, that would result in 2.5, correct? But you actually get two because the extra 0.5 is cut off um, in integer division. So just keep that in mind uh, for the future. And then evenly uh, divided stores what you expect, but unevenly divided holds two because ints cannot store decimals. It's important to note that it doesn't surround the decimal but floors it. Java removes the 0.5 to fit the result into the int type. And it's important to note that if we try to divide any number by zero, we'll get a arithmetic exception error as a result. So you can't divide by zero. Remember that. Okay, in main, uh, there's a variable called subtotal, which represents the subtotal of an amount to pay on a bill, and a variable called tax, which represents the tax rate. Create a double variable, okay, double called total that holds the subtotal plus the product of subtotal and tax. Okay, so we have subtotal, subtotal plus the product of subtotal times tax. Oh, and then we print it, my fault, my fault, guys. Oh, and I forgot the equals right here. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so we printed system dot out dot print line, and we're just gonna print out the total here, and error. See the little things here. It's just gonna get you. Now, there were four people who bought this meal together and want to split the cost. Create a double variable called per person that holds total divided by four. So we'll do, um, we'll do this, we'll do uh, double per person equals total divided by four. And then print it out. person. Alright, let's see if this works. It worked. So now as you can see, uh, this is, let me put this, so this is multiplication and this is uh, 
division. So we do the times right here, and then we do the division right here. So yeah. And then in the next video, we'll learn about modulo, which is a very important concept. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.